Hi, this is Kurt Bunnick at 4constructionpros.com, and we're here with, with Colin Robinson. Colin, um, can you tell us a little bit about the AccuPore product that Smentec offers, and a little, little bit about how that works, and you, you also have a couple new offerings in that product. We do, we do, yeah. So AccuPore is a office platform for really dispatching, and there's kind of two sides of it. You have the office software, where you create orders, you, s you have your scheduling there, and then you assign orders to uh, operators who actually have a tablet in their, mm -hmm. in their truck where they can view those orders. Uh, what's very unique is we can actually send that order directly to the mixer. So all that information loads up, the mix design, uh, really have a, it's, a, it's a simple process. It's trying to eliminate a lot of the human error that we might have. Once the pour is complete, all that complete pour information comes immediately back automatically to the, to the tablet, which comes back to office in real time. So this is the completed pour information from our demonstration today. We've actually added some before, uh, one before, after, before picture and one after picture. And this is all of our completed data that would typically be presented to an inspector or customer and also back into our office on a ticket, on a physical batch ticket. Now we've got this in a digital format. This is gonna come right back to the, so as soon as the pour is done, this is gonna send to the tablet, which sends right back in real time uh, to the office where they can ex see exactly what was happening and begin scheduling the, the next order for this, uh, this operator. We are excited to announce that it is fully compatible with any volumetric mixer. Uh, so it is optimized for Smintech C60, but any type of mixer, so a lot of customers do have mixed fleets uh, with, with older Smintech units, newer, newer Smintech units, uh, but also competitive units. So we have one software platform that's gonna cover any type of mixer. Um, and uh, so that's one of the big pieces, so fully compatible with any volumetric mixer, uh, but also the reporting structure. So all that data that's coming back, now we have a reporting structure where we can see you know, how much would we pour in this specific area with this operator or this, this type of mixer. And we can start to make really data informed decisions based off that information. It sounds like this has the potential to eliminate a lot of error too, because you're eliminating the paper trail or the paper system of it, the paper tickets. Exactly, yeah. So traditionally, uh, a lot of our customers will bring, uh, all the operators really bring a pile of tickets back at the end of the day, all their pours. And if they forget some of those tickets, they never get invoiced. There's some free concrete for that customer. Um, so while in the eyes of a customer, that's great. Um, for our business partners, that's not what we want. So we're going to be tracking every yard, whether they have an order on that tablet and they send it to the mixer or not. Uh, they can create local tickets on site and that information, all that, all that poor information will come right back to office for easy invoicing. So we're not missing any type of detail, any yardage. Now, can you talk a little bit about the new products? You have, uh, I understand, Office is one of them, and Mobile is the other. Yeah, so there's, there's there's kind of three pieces to it. You've got Office, which is really where dispatch management will be hanging out. It's a web-based browser, uh, uh, really optimized for Google Chrome. But they can create orders there and then send that. Yeah, to operators who actually have a tablet in their in their in their mixer, uh, in the cab, where they can add picture detail. They can add notes on there. Uh, those 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 orders then get sent right to the mixer. Um, and so the mixer is kind of the third piece. And once that pour is done, and the complete pour information comes back to the tablet, it comes right back to office. So it's it's really three pieces, but it's very automatic how that data flows. Mm -hmm. And then how about the mobile mobile piece? Yeah. So the mobile piece is is just the operator uh, will have that. Uh, that's that's specifically uh, very intuitive. So uh, there's not a lot going on. We really lock that tablet down just to have that app running. So it's very simple. We're not running through a lot of data and, and charging you know a, a huge monthly bill. Um, but they have all the capacity there to see the order, see where they need to go. It has a mapping system in there. Uh, it has the mix design, the yardage. Um, all that information is there, and they can document even further information through pictures or notes on site. And once mm -hmm. that order is done, it comes right back to office. So everything they need without any, the paper, the paper yeah. Trail. So they could still print a print a batch ticket off and give to that inspector. Typically, inspectors want those, or even the customer. Uh, but there is no paper trail coming back for invoicing, coming back to the office. Uh, they could send that to a customer virtually if they wanted to. Uh, so we're yeah, we're trying to eliminate that paperwork. Where we're potentially we're just going to miss out on yardage. Uh, so it's 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 tied into the, that office piece, and, and we're again calculating and tracking every single yard that's poured out of the mixer. And you said you can make better better management decisions by having all the systems tied together and all the equipment tied together. <clears throat> exactly. So now that we cover any mixer in the fleet, uh, all of this information is coming back to our office side where we can see, start to really dive into, okay, this area is a very popular area, maybe this zip code is not, or this city uh, for this last month, so we can really start to dial into, uh, to see really for profitability what we need to go after, what our goals are, and we're helping our, our partners in this industry or our customers uh, be more successful, be more, more, more productive.
It sounds like you can measure different drivers against each other and even promote yeah. the productivity. Yeah, that way. so that's one of the one of the things we've talked about quite a bit is is with reporting, you can start to crunch those numbers and look at okay, let's look at last month and compare our operators who poured the most, who who is the most productive, and start to monetize that and really incentivize your operators to say, hey, here's your goal, or here's your where you were at last month. These are what your goals are for this coming month. Uh, let's see how you guys do and sort of have that incentive structure built in.